Despite Queensland's colder nights, up to 20,000 people are sleeping rough on the state's streets. There's no room left in our shelters and some homeless people are dying in what charities call death zones under bridges and motorways. Mark Sulo reports. It's a dramatic term, death zones, but according to those dealing with the problem, a factual one. Just days ago, another person died living rough in Brisbane. I hear this story at least once or twice a week from various people through the centre. Brisbane QC Jacova Brash knows it all too well. The cold, lack of food and illness. Her brother died homeless despite her efforts to help. My brother, like a lot of homeless people, had a lot of issues, a lot of problems, um, and he found himself sleeping on the streets down between Botanic Gardens. She'll be helping others through the St Vincent de Paul CEO sleep out later this month. On any night there are potentially 20,000 people across Queensland that are sleeping rough and 27% of those are children. Another organisation, Swags for the Homeless, is raising $1 million for backpack beds, an Australian invention used internationally. It's publicising the plight of the homeless with strategically placed cardboard coffins. This is wrong. This is Australia. This is avoidable deaths. This is avoidable suffering. Charities providing food and shelter all struggle through winter. There's not enough accommodation, and some of the disadvantaged prefer the streets. All say governments and the public need to be less apathetic. Homeless people need more than newspapers full of political rhetoric. They need more than that. And they need it before the weather gets even colder. Mark Sulo, 10 Eyewitness News.